Hey everyone, set fit or sentence transformer fine tuning. This new paper generated lot of attention and lot of discussion over the last few days. So the official name of the paper is Efficient Few Short Learning Without Prompts and published by the researchers named over here. So this video will be a quick discussion around this paper and also the code implementation that Hugging Face has published. And the main reasons that SetFit generated so much attention is because it outperforms GPT-3 in few short text classification. That is where uh, labeled examples are 50 or less. And it is 1600 times smaller and can be run on your CPU. So just going through the paper, uh, what they are saying in the abstract is recent few shot methods such as parameter fine tuning and pattern exploiting training have achieved impressive results in level scarce settings however they are difficult to employ since they are subject to high variability from manually crafted prompts and typically require billion parameter language models to achieve high accuracy to address these shortcomings we propose set fit or sentence transformer fine tuning and um, so few short learning methods have emerged as uh, uh, emerged as an attractive solution to level scare scenarios where data annotations can be time consuming and costly these methods are are designed to work with a small number of labeled training examples and typically involve adopting pre-trained language models for specific downstream task and uh, okay let's go set fit yeah so they, this is where they are mentioning the main architecture and the mechanism of their approach so set feed is based on sentence transformers which are modifications of pre-trained transformer models that use siamese and triplet network structures to devise semantically meaningful sentence embeddings the goal of these models is to minimize the distance between pairs of semantically similar sentences and maximize the distance between sentence pairs that are semantically distant Okay, this is an important point. Mm, yeah, so this is an important uh, uh, representation of their whole architecture. So uh, SetFit uses two-step training approach in which we first fine-tune an ST. ST means uh, the sentence transformer. And then train a classifier head. So in the first step, uh, uh, and sentence transformer is fine-tuned on the input data in a contrastive Siamese manner on sentence pairs. In the second step, a text classification head is trained using the encoded training data generated by the fine-tuned sentence transformer from the first step. Also, Hugging Face has published a great blog uh, on SetFit. Uh, this is the one that I'm looking at currently. And there they have given these um, some benchmarking result and these are really awesome. It's just almost unbelievable. So look at this cost uh, comparison. So T few 3 billion uh, compared with set fit and the cost is 28x smaller. Whereas the accuracy of set fit is only minus 1.7%. So that kind of improvement in results you get. And uh, since SetFit achieves high accuracy with relatively small models, it's blazing fast to train and on much lower cost. For instance, training SetFit on an NVIDIA V100 with eight labeled examples takes just 30 seconds at a cost of 0.025. Unbelievable. By comparison, training t 3 billion requires, uh, requires an NVIDIA A100 and takes 11 minutes at a cost of 0.7 for the same experiment a factor of 28x or more in fact set fit can run on a single gpu like the ones found on google collab and even train set fit on cpu in just few minutes as shown in the figure above uh, set fit speed up comes with comparable model performance similar gains are also achieved for inference and distilling the set fit model can bring speed up of 123x all right and the coolest part is that Hugging Face has uh, uh, published these um, code in GitHub repository implementing SetFit, and this is that uh, this is that repo that I'm looking at, and uh, they have also given some examples of actual Jupyter notebook where you can run it in Colab, and that the entire notebook will get executed only within probably four to five minutes. It, it is so fast. 
so this is the code um, repository that i'm looking at that there's this uh, trainer file which takes care of actually training the actually training pipeline and uh, then the important part important one is this modeling.py this this file so referring back to the paper the original architecture uh, as we just discussed that set fit uses two step training approach in which we first fine tune a sentence transformer and then train a classifier head and that's exactly what you will see here so uh, this is that uh, this is that main class set fit model and if you go down uh, let's see. Yeah, so I have uh, mainly two things. One is a model body uh, and then model head. And what is my model body? That's an instance of sentence transformer class here uh, defined within the from pretrained method. And uh, what is model head? Uh, that's defined here. So if you if you have a model head file, then this model head is just loading that one. Otherwise, model head is an instance of logistic regression. And also the paper and also the hugging face blog talks about sentence pair generation uh, for the uh, for this model. As we read in the paper right in this section that the goal of this model is to minimize the distance between pairs of semantically similar sentences and maximize the distance between sentence pairs that are semantically distant. So uh, for that we have a couple of methods to uh, for that area. So I have sentence pair generation here initializes to empty list to hold the sentence sentence pairs and labels to indicate if a pair is positive or negative then i also have sentence pairs generation for multi-label and lastly i have sentence pairs generation cosine similarity okay so if you read their blog uh, let's go to the blog yeah so they uh, mention here pretty clearly that setfit takes advantage of sentence transformers ability to generate dense embeddings based on paired sentences in the initial fine tuning phase stage it makes use of the limited labeled input data by contrastive training where positive and negative pairs are created by in class and out class section the sentence transformer model then trains on these pairs or triplets and generates dense vectors per example. In the second step, the classification head trains on the encoded embeddings with their respective class labels. And at inference time, the unseen example passes through the fine-tuned sentence transformer generating and embedding that when fed to the classification head outputs a class level prediction all right now uh, let's go to this collab that has been given as an example in their repository so now obviously first you need to install your set fit and then uh, with the load data set you you import load data set and sentence transformer dot losses or cosine similarity then you also import the relevant models from set fit and then load a data set uh, uh, data set load emotion there are quite a few options uh, here in the repository that hugging face has published uh, for example there i think there's uh, you can load amazon review you can load a few other as well uh, so in the repository, if you go to utils.python uh, utils file, uh, these are the options that are given for uh, for running these examples. You can load SST2, IMDB, SUBJ, BBC News, Enron Spam, and US. So these are the options right now. And um, OK, so here uh, we are loading the emotion data set. And this is uh, the emotion data set. If I just uh, let me print the data set. So obviously it's a hugging face data set, data set dict format. So I have train validation and test uh, under the train. I have 16,000 uh, validation 2000 number of and test 2000. And it is a very simple data set with just two features, text and label. Text is a text obviously, and label is just a numerical level of zero one uh, for binary classification. 
and then uh, after loading the data set you uh, select n example per class and here n is uh, 8 that is you uh, take 8 example per class and we have two classes here and that's why they are doing 8 multiplied by 2 and that's your train data set and um, also you have your test data set and that's pretty much it and then you uh, just define a model from setfit.pretrained and you pass sentence transformer paraphrase mpnet base v2 and obviously here instead of this model you can choose any from the sentence transformer uh, package and there's a whole plethora a whole list of models you can choose from and also uh, many multi-language model you can choose because uh, set fit is uh, also producing uh, awesome result even for uh, multi multi-language uh, situations so uh, just by switching switching these uh, model name uh, that is a base model name to a multi-language one set fit can function seamlessly in multi-language context so in their experiments they have found that set fits performance shows promising results on classification in german Japanese, Mandarin, French, and Spanish in both in-language and cross-linguistic settings. All right, so now that your model is defined, um, then you just create your trainer configuration by setting the parameters to set fit trainer. Uh, here it's a very simple one. You just uh, define your train dataset, eval dataset, loss class as your cosine similarity loss, batch size, number of epochs, and number of iterations, and that's it. And then you do trainer.train. This line uh, took something like I think uh, three minutes or so to run uh, for a single epoch. And uh, yeah, that's that, that's a, just a simple example of um, checking uh set fit on various data set and then you can also do trainer dot evaluate for getting some evaluation metrics coming back to the paper there's a few more informations about uh, its um, overall benchmarking uh, here is a table uh, how set set fit um, uh, set fit mp net and set fit mini lm is performing against t few three billion Another important and kind of interesting fact is uh, that the storage cost of set fit models uh, is uh, 163 times to 26 times smaller than T03B checkpoints. Uh, so TFU 3B takes 11.4 GB, whereas set fit models take 70 MB or 420 MB. Uh, awesome. So overall for the benchmarking of set fit, this is what the Hugging Face uh, blog talks about that although based on much smaller models than existing few shot methods, set fit performs on par or better than state of the art few shot regimes on variety of benchmarks on raft a few shot classification benchmarks set fit roberta with 355 million parameters outperforms pet and gpt3 it places just under average human performance and the 11 billion parameter t few a model 30 times the size of set fit roberta set fit also outperforms human baseline on seven of the 11 raft tasks uh yeah so looks like this is going to be a trend setter in uh, in uh, natural language processing research